Hi, I'm Dr. Catherine Rose Hailstone from the Department of History at Durham University. My research is currently looking at a project called Emotional Architectures, creating atmospheres of power in the churches and basilicas of late antique Gaul and Italy. This research stems from my PhD, which looked at the history of emotions, particularly the history of fear, in the works of a late 6th century bishop called Gregory of Tours. And the current research is really looking at expanding on that, thinking about how contemporaries in late antique Italy and Gaul, which is modern day France and northern Germany, used material architecture, design, sights, sounds, smells, light to really move people to experience different emotions when they go into churches and basilicas. I have recently published an article in Early Medieval Europe. Uh, it's on atmospheric architecture, and this is a precursor to my current project. So it's looking at how Gregory of Tours used the architecture and uh, things like epigrams, so writing on the walls inside of the basilicas and churches, to elicit the fear of God in his congregation in order to make them be more self-controlled in their behaviour and good Christians as a result. There are two things that make research and teaching really special at Durham for me. One of them is the sense of community that exists amongst the staff as well as the students, fostered by all of the events that we do um, and that we run. The other thing is the great resources that we have. So we have fantastic libraries, there's lots of scholarship available in there with up-to-the-minute research. And we also have an extensive archive collection, which does actually contain some 6th and 7th century manuscripts. So you, as the students, can actually get to handle those sources that were created and written by those people over a millennia ago. We have a fantastic support network here at Durham. Make the most of your time in this city, but also don't be afraid to ask for help through the library, through the department, through the members of staff. If you've got questions, if you're not sure about anything, just ask us, we're here to help.